Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you again for your increased support. I have 630 plus subscribers. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's always really good to just wake up and see that I have more subscribers in the morning, more supporters, so I really do appreciate your help. In the past few videos I've made, I've talked about how to move to Germany because I do think that COVID-19 has really influenced a lot, of, a lot of our plans, but I don't think we should allow this virus to stop us from living our best lives. I moved to Germany literally with nothing, um, you know, no job, no visa, nothing. I found a job within the first month and I would like to share my methodology, if you will, on what you need to be able to get that job that you're looking for. Resumes. So resumes are completely different in Germany. Um, you have to put your picture on it. Germany is slowly working towards walking away from demanding that people have their photos, but still it's a very much, you have to have a photo on your resume society. So if you are one of the people who decides not to put your photo on your CV and you apply to German companies, I think naturally that's gonna be like, not good in their eyes. Again, I, I'm just saying this in terms of like how you can make sure that your CV is read. Take a professional photo. Um, a professional photo could be like this, or it could be like this. So um, yeah, definitely go online. There's a lot of resources that you can use to in terms of how your CV is supposed to look. I can include some below. For those that are coming from places like Canada and America, we typically like to use words like the best spearheader, for example, for this whatever administration, yada, yada, yada. We really talk ourselves off. In Germany, they will laugh at that. They don't believe in someone being the best at whatever. They really want you to have humility. So I really encourage people to practice humility when you're applying to jobs in Germany. For example, this word superior, possesses superior skills in blah, 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 blah. You know, people will probably laugh at that. So tone it down a little bit, be humble. Remember that you wanna really apply the German way and Germans are typically very straight to the point. They're realistic and to many, Germans in Germany saying that you are superior is probably not the case when they see how much work experience you have. Because in Germany, it's custom that people stay in companies for like five, six, seven years and not switch. So they could be considered to be superior. So when you make a comparison on your application, it just looks like BS to Germans. Also on CVs in Germany, they sometimes require your birth date, your nationality. One of the points that I would like to make very clear when it comes to CVs in Germany is if there is a little bit of a gap, for example, even if it's like one month gap, right? Or two months gap, you need to be able to be prepared to, be expla to explain why is it that you have a gap in your CV. Because Germans, they're really critical when it comes to looking at your profile. They're gonna see your profile for what it is. So for example, taking a gap year or doing something, like you need to be able to explain those gaps. So like a transition paragraph, be prepared to have to explain why you took a transition paragraph, even if it's in high school, they really wanna know. In my experience, German companies don't really like when there's a huge like gap between you and the next step or this step, then you start to fall more into like the inconsistent or unreliable category. So to avoid the scrutiny, I highly suggest you make sure that your profile really does lay out. Like, I did this, I did that, and the gap, you know, make it very clear or just make sure that your resume is just like overlapping a little bit with the next step in your academic or career trajectory. When you send out a CV to German companies, you always wanna make sure you put a signature. Now, your signature needs to be included with a date. And if I'm applying to job June 1st, but I wrote my CV on the I don't know, 25th of May, of May, you need to make sure that your CV is, when you send it out, that it's the day of, like, the day that you're sending it. They really want you to, like, your profiles to be shown as like, okay, he took time on this application. We're not just anybody, right? We're not any company. He really worked on this on this application and, he, and he, this is his most recent application to this date. So always include the date at the bottom with your signature. Now, I think it's best, me personally, on my CV, I actually drew in a signature on my iPad and I just copied it over. I think that's really cool too. It's like showing creativity. And in the bottom, also Germans, they really like your CV to have activity. So this is where you can say, okay, I like fishing, you know, I like video, like vlogging, for example. 
I like learning languages because Germans, they really are about that work-life balance because this is a place where people have a really good work-life balance depending on what industry you're in. So it's always good to see and showcase on your CV. So again, for CVs, make sure it's straight to the point. Be humble with the way that you describe your talents. Really focus on showcasing your accomplishments whereas using big words to like talk up yourself. Germans are more focused on understanding your accomplishments and really why they relate to the position that you're applying for. And then I think the most important one is to take the fishing approach. I, when I tell you guys, when I first moved to Germany in the first month alone, I applied to 300 jobs. 300, I'm not even kidding. I applied to 10, 15, 20 jobs a day. And at that point, I didn't care who was gonna hire me. I just wanted to stay in Munich. I really wanted to be in Germany um, for reasons I'll talk about later in another video. And uh, in that moment in time, I didn't care what I did. I just needed to have a job. Come with that understanding. If it's your goal, for example, to be here long-term, if you are okay with taking up any job, for example, if you're not from Canada, which, which means basically you're entitled to a six month um, holiday visa, and you're from the States and you're not entitled to that, for example, really get into that mindset of your fishing. Constantly throw your name into the universe. LinkedIn is really good, easy apply. Glass or easy apply is also a good source to look for jobs. But every single day, you should set a goal as to applying to 10 jobs a day. I didn't have any German skills. I'm not an engineer. I had little network, okay? There was, and I'm not an EU citizen. There's so, so, so many levels stacked against me that the only way you can overcome that is by putting your name into the universe as often as possible. Overcome those barriers with flooding and, you know, saturating the market with your name. Someone will pick you up. Someone will pick you up, don't worry. You have to apply, apply, apply. And then once you get your visa and you work, you have six months probation. So you get to decide if this is a position for you or not. And they also get to decide if this is for you or not. So work your butt off once you get in. And then within the first six months, if you find something that you really want to do so you can more relax, it's not an issue, a matter of visa, of maintaining a visa, then you can apply to a job that you actually think is more suitable for you and you have when you have more time to do so. Make freeing yourself from unemployment your full-time employment, especially if you want to stay here. Um, I'd wake up every day at 8 in the morning, I'd have my breakfast, 9 to 12 apply to 10 jobs, and then have a lunch for an hour, and then from 1 to, you know, 4 is applying another 10 jobs every single day religiously, Monday through Friday. So that was my methodology, my approach. Sometimes it doesn't work for others. More people need more attention on their product, but it's like, listen, I, I needed to, I did not want to, I did not want to go back to the States at that moment, nor did I want to go back to China. And I really wanted to be in Munich. So really putting your name to the into the universe as often as possible is literally the best way. I forgot to mention this for the CV part, but I want you to try in your spare time to learn German. Because if you are a foreigner, Munich is very much a city where all foreigners go into this very, very exclusive foreign, non-German speaking foreigner box in terms of jobs until you prove yourself. So really, really, really marry yourself to the German language. Try to set your phone in German. Really try to get into using German and interacting with German every day so that you can give yourself more options. German has been a huge, huge thing for me. I'm still learning and I want to get to the point where I can speak it professionally so I have more options here in Germany. But um, also on your CV, make sure that you highlight that you are learning German um, and that you're interested in learning German. It goes a long way, it's gonna help you and you are more credible in German's eyes and you are more stable that you're gonna be here, you're not gonna be like one of the other expats that are gonna leave and stuff like that in one year's time because you're making the investment in the language and highlighting that on your CV is critical. Okay guys, so those are the few things that I think that one needs um, when one comes to Germany. Uh, if you have any specific questions about my trajectory here, moving from China, coming to Germany with like nothing at all, literally <laughs> nothing at all, please feel free to 
message me below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel where I post more videos like this every single week, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Keep your head up. You're gonna move to Munich or France or whatever. I hope this video was useful. Have a great day. See ya.